Have you taken a look at your podcast's stats lately? And are they trending in the wrong direction? Is there anything you can do about it? Hey, I know you've got questions and, well, I've got more questions. But these are questions you can ask yourself. Hello and welcome to another Podcast Pontifications with me, Evo Terra. You know, it's not often I get to use the word decimated in the proper terminology, so I'm going to use it. Dealing with decimated downloads for your podcast. What do you do in a situation where you notice that your podcast downloads have dropped drastically? Maybe not by 50%, maybe 10%. That's decimated, by the way. 10%. 1 in 10 what do you do when you've noticed that's happening over time? How do you deal with it so, or under these various circumstances that might cause this to happen? Well, it's tough. It's a tough deal. What do you do? How do you deal with it? How do you deal with it? What are you going to do on the other side? How do you come out of that? Look, I know there's a lot of questions. And I'm going to, unfortunately, give you more questions to ask because there's not a one-size-fits-all answer. I wish there was a button how to fix it, but there's not because it really depends. So what I want you to do, working podcaster... If you find yourself in a situation where you see that your download numbers are being negatively impacted, going down, we've got three different questions I want you to ask yourself to help figure out the solution. Question number one is, does it really matter? And I know that's a weird question, and I'm automatically going to bracket, not bracket, I'm going to group listeners into one of two buckets. Look, if you didn't know your numbers were going down, would you do anything differently? If you had no idea what your downloads were, would you do anything at all differently? And if the answer to that question is no, then okay. Because look, you're probably not paid by the download if that's in fact your answer. So does it really matter? You got to ask that question amongst yourself. If the answer to that question is yes, it does matter. Okay, and it can only matter for a couple of reasons, you know, I, I, I think. One is it is negatively impacting you monetarily. Maybe you are monetizing your content and you're paid on the download or on the mass numbers of downloads and that number drops. I get it. For you, it matters. Or if you can tie something else directly back to your download numbers, then in fact it really does matter. But if it doesn't, then maybe the answer is no. But let's assume the answer is yes. Because if the answer is yes, it does matter, move on to the second question I want you to have for yourself. And that is, was it something you did? <laughs> Which sounds a little weird and rude, but seriously, quite often, the reason download numbers drop is because of something you did. Unintentionally, but nonetheless, something you did. Maybe you changed something up on your website. Because your website actually does bring some people into the show once in a while. And if something changed, like you got the RSS feed wrong in there, or you improperly linked, or something, who knows what you did, but it might have actually blocked the ability for Apple or Pod Google Podcasts or Spotify to crawl your... Who knows? It might have been something you did. So go take a look at all of the actions you did prior to the decimation, and make sure. Did you change artwork? It shouldn't have an impact, but it can. Honestly, it can. Did you change some old content? Okay, maybe. You know, we don't know what the problem is. So the first thing, make sure it was nothing that you did. Oh, and if it was something you did, then fix it. Uh, don't do that again. But if it wasn't something you did, and it does matter. Again, yes, it matters. No, you didn't do anything. And then we move on to the third and most important question of all, which is this. Is there anything you can do about it? Sometimes the answer to that question is no. Sometimes the answer to that question is I don't know. In some things, it's simply yes, it, it can be. But as you're asking yourself this question, is there anything you can do about it? We're really looking at are there external influences or are there internal influences? Is there an external influence which is not only decimating your podcast download number, but lots of other shows also seeing decimated numbers. If it is something that is affecting the industry of podcasting overall with a handful of exemptions like, I don't know, healthcare, finance, news, you know, if the thing happening 
isn't causing an impact there, but your show is more about entertainment, more about career advice, more about drinking beer on the weekends with your friends, and you're noticing a drip, and other shows like you are noticing a drip, there may not be nothing and you can do. There may be nothing you can do. It might just be a dip in the marketplace. But it might not be. There might be situations that are within your control. I mean, it may be the fact that your content's stale and needs updated. It might be the fact that someone else has come along with another show that is better that puts content out on a more regular basis or something else where people are getting their needs met somewhere else. Maybe your needs, maybe the things you put out on your show are no longer needing to meet the needs of your audience. So you're not really sure if you're still doing the sorts of things you can do. But before you go making drastic changes, again, go through a methodical look at this thing and find out, is it really something you can do? Was there an external event that's causing it? Because if it's an external event, will that external event stay there for a long time? If so, you might need to make an adjustment. If it's a temporary glitch, then you kind of deal with it, hopefully. You kind of ride it out, as we are all kind of writing things out right now. Maybe there's nothing at all you can do about it, and you just have to deal with the situation that you're in. But, you know, that doesn't mean you're, you're stuck. I don't want to leave you with with nothing that's out there. I mean, if you can't, if your numbers are going down, it's not something that you did, and you really need them to be up there because you're getting paid, consider doubling the number of ads that you run. I know that sounds like a terrible thing to do, but if that's really how you're dressing your income, then maybe you can do something. Maybe try pre-rolls. Maybe try more post-rolls if that's, in fact, what's going to get the numbers up there. Again, it goes back to the question of does it matter, and there's nothing you can do about it. How do you, you know, recoup those particular revenue numbers. Maybe it's time to decide something different. Maybe it's time to take a break. Maybe just reality happens and you have these decimated downloads and you might have them for all the time. I don't know why. We've got a lot of different reasons why it can be, which leads me to the homework section here of the program. You're a podcaster and we tend to self-isolate as it is, but my suggestion for you is be one of the many canaries in this coal mine we call podcasting. I don't know if you're having a problem with decimated downloads unless you tell me. I can't go look at your download numbers. I Sure, I can look at my clients' numbers, but we need to be sharing this information as podcasters with each other. We need to be shouting to the masses, or at least our close peer group, of when we're seeing changes and asking around. Are you other people seeing these same changes I'm seeing? Or is it just isolated to me? Share it within your peer group. I really can't stress enough the importance of having a group of peers that you can bounce these ideas off of. And as you're forming that group, please tell them about podcast pontifications. I mean, hey, it'll give you at least four different things to talk about each week, right? Right. All right. Enjoy your Friday. No episodes on me from Friday. So enjoy your Thursday first and then enjoy your Friday. I'll be back on Monday with yet another podcast, Pontifications. Cheers.